20 years ago, the millennium dawned and soft play, a group available for young children and their families, which met weekly in the church hall, had the idea of raising money to replace a plain window in the baptistry with one representing children and the church. Minutes of the Parish Church Council of the 21st of April 2001 records Soft play has set the filling of the plain window in the baptistry as one of its objectives for 2000. Since then, many discussions have taken place over the intervening years, looking at various designs. One of the artists submitting a design was Anne Sutherland, a stained glass artist based in York, who explains her design. It depends rather on what the subject matter is, but in this case, the, the obvious thing with the theme of let the little children come to me is I have a figure of Christ standing and children and parents coming up gathering around. But rather than have a figure of Christ, which would have been very dominant and wouldn't have fitted the space particularly well, I decided to use the cruciform halo to represent Christ, which is also echoed in the cruciform halo, which is down towards the bottom end of the design. So we've got the halo there, the gateway into the church, and then down here it's echoed, so that, that links me, links back to the halo in the church there. And then the idea of children coming around from a distance, coming, say, from a distance, coming round up towards the area of the church. And the idea of the colours is that the rainbow represents hope, God's promise to mankind of his everlasting love. So the idea of God's everlasting love encompassing the group of children, so the rainbow colours go round and encompass the whole group. And then that, that sort of is, is how it all comes together. Um, generic faces, just children's faces of different kinds. I went on the internet as you do nowadays and looked at lots and lots of different faces and hairstyles and what have you. This area here is the cruciform halo which represents the presence of Christ. Uh, the gateway into the church, if you like. And the cruciform halo is a symbol that's been recognised for Christ practically since Christianity started. It's on a sort of shaded side of the church, you're not going to get a lot of direct light into it, but the colours are quite strong and powerful. The painting is as strong and powerful as I can get it to be, and I hope that it will have a wow factor. It's not a window that you're going to see immediately when you walk into the church. You're going to walk around a corner and think, ooh, Wow. Well, I hope so, anyway. As you can see, the design was accepted. When Anne was taking the precise measurements for her design, it was noticed that some of the stonework was eroding and would have to be replaced. With works starting on the stonework, a sense of anticipation was felt in the congregation. On the completion of the repairs, the window was installed during November, and the work of the artist and the generosity of the soft play group can be reflected in the window for generations to come. Mm -hmm.